Bay. Now, one of the biggest killers and creators of health problems anywhere in Australia is smoking. In fact, it's a worldwide problem and th hundreds of thousands of people die every year from smoking-related illnesses. To find out a bit more about smoking and how you stop smoking, is it in your head, is it in your body, where does the ability to quit come from? We're joined this morning by Diane Fisher from Alan Carr's Easy Way to Quit Smoking and also Steve Millsy Mills, uh, famous radio announcer who's actually been through the process and gone from being a smoker to returning to being a healthy non-smoker. How do you do it? Let's find out. Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining us on Wake Up WA. Morning, Jess. Morning, Jason. Now, Diane, I'm going to start with you because sure. uh, I'm, I'm, a few people out there probably know I'm a bit of a smoker myself, and one thing that really aggravates me is these high and mighty, holier-than-thou, anti-smoking people who've never smoked a cigarette in their entire life. Now, you run a, a, a stop-smoking course. Are you one of those... Oh gosh, no, people. no. I'm, I was a terrible smoker. I smoked for 26 years all up, way too long. Um, and I think I've been through all gamuts of, of smoking. I, I've been the secret smoker and done all the hiding around and, and, and lying and uh, manipulating my situations to, to get to my cigarettes. So I, you know, I've been the out and out smoker that's been, you know, there at the pub and smoking a couple of packets probably. Yep. Yeah, so no, I've been right through the whole thing of. So how did you get from that point then? Because I know a lot of smokers will stand and oh, I love my cigarettes, I really, really enjoy them. How did you get from that to then coming across the Alan Carr methods well, of stop? I guess like a lot of people, because society has created such a stigma against smoking, um, towards the end of my smoking I really did hide it a fair bit. And I think the, the last straw was desperate for a cigarette in Hong Kong airport and having to traipse up and down that airport looking for a smoking room, finally finding one and sitting in there and, and you really don't need to light up a cigarette, you just breathe in the fumes really. Um, but just sitting there and thinking what is this all about, it stunk, people walk past with their children, they just look at you like you're some alien. Um, it was just revolting and I decided then and there I had to do something about it. Because public perceptions have, qu have changed quite dramatically, haven't they? Absolutely. I've had clients say that they've been offered a cigarette. Uh, these are older clients who've been offered a cigarette straight after giving birth in the hospital by the doctors. Mm. So we've gone from that culture <laughs> where it was really encouraged mm. to the culture now where it's just such a stigma against it. Now, smoking such a powerful addiction, well that's my perception anyway, it must take a lot of willpower to, uh, no, to go from your no. pack a day to not smoking. And, and that's one of the myths. Willpower is what you need if you really want to do something and you're not allowed to do it. That's willpower. Um, but if you don't want to do something, then... It, look, take this as a good example. Imagine that that's a glass of bleach. Now how much willpower is that going to take for you not to drink it? No willpower whatsoever. Why not? Because it's bleach and it will kill me in... Tastes oh, awful. See where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, not, there's not no willpower. Now, but what if you were really drunk? Any temptation? No, I still reckon no, I probably wouldn't no, drink bleach. No, absolutely not. And see, if you can see cigarettes in the same way you see a glass of bleach, there's going to be no willpower. And, and that's what we do. We change your perception around smoking so that at the end of the day, all the myths, all the illusions are all erased and you're just left with, why would I do this? Why bother? And it becomes that insignificant. Stopping smoking is just that insignificant if you get your mindset right. So it's, it's, so it's not about electroshock therapy or hypnotism or anything? It's no, just no, getting no. Getting your brain in the right Look, spot. shock tactics don't work. Millsy, like, I'll throw it across to you. Mm. Um, now, I've spoken to you before about this, and you were one of these real sort of skeptics. You tried a few methods to, to quit in the past, is that yeah, right? Yeah, I've been hypnotised, I've been pricked, punched, you name it, I'd, I'd had the lot. And when I found out about Alan Carr's way to give an easy way to give up smoking, I actually said to Don, I think, on the morning, no, I'll just, there's a ritual that you do where you throw your cigarettes away at the end of the day. And I thought, oh, well, I'll do that. I'll go and buy another packet on the way home. She'll never know, and I'll just get on with my life. But I kind of got through that afternoon and then woke up the next morning, felt really revitalised, and over time just thought, how good's this? What have been the noticeable benefits to your lifestyle? Oh, it's energy beyond belief. The fact that I can breathe a lot better. All the things that you kind of deny are happening to your life. So you've got absolutely nothing to lose other than what you've got to gain. And what you've got to gain is your life back. And that, if you're a smoker, you know exactly what I mean. You'll say, I can't imagine my life without cigarettes. Well, now I can honestly say, even just after seven months, I can't imagine my life as a smoker. And Diane, as you're saying to me this morning, as I lit up before the show, I've got to, <laughs> got to admit, you're not giving something up. You're going back to yep. what you would have been had you not started in the so, first place. So why don't you do it, Jason? Why don't you stop smoking? Well, I wouldn't mind. I mean, health and that sort of stuff. Well, look, I've been watching your program and I've noticed that you do a dare of the week. 
Yes. It's okay, here's your dare. Why don't you come along to a session and stop smoking? In fact, bring a couple of people with you and give that a go. Good dare. Well, I suppose I'd seem pretty silly to say no to it after all that, Millsy. I think you've convinced me. But look, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. We'll put, the, we'll put the call out to our viewers. If we can get three viewers to SMS in or contact us at wakeupwa.com.au. We'll have all the information about the Alan Carr's easy way to quit smoking method. Um, but if we can get three more people to join me, I'll come along. Okay. And when, when's your next session? Uh, well, we've got one in a couple of weeks, actually. 23rd of May, we're going to run 23rd one. 23rd of May. All right, if you're so. available on the 23rd of May and you're serious about getting your health back and stopping that nasty, nasty habit, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll be there with you. Wake up WA website. Get your information on there. We'll get you on board. Or, of course, ring the number that's on your screen right now and we'll sort you out. So three people plus me. I'm a bit scared. No, we'll that'll be we'll right. It'll change a life. You'll be a new man. And the I'll tell you what, the good things about it, other things start to arise in your life, which is really... And the good thing is just remember you're allowed to smoke throughout the day. So it's the only session you'll ever come to where you're told you can go and smoke. Until that final cigarette. You can do it, right. buddy. You can do it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how we go. I'm, I'm still a little bit sceptical, a one-day thing, but we'll give it a bash. Jump online or, of course, contact us via SMS to leave your name and details, and we'll see if we can get you along. And like Millsy and Diane have, get you back your, uh, your health and wellness that you had all along before you started smoking. You got me. I'm going to have a go.